A decade ago, this tiny fox was on the brink of extinction. We got a mama here. Can I see your teeth, please? For years, scientists like Christina Bozer have been working to restore the endangered island fox. It lives only here on Santa Cruz and the other China Islands off the coast of Southern California. Tastes look good. Island foxes are smaller than your average gray fox. The fact that they're isolated on these islands gives them a unique personality. They're very curious. Now, the fox is back. Mama, do you want to go? And it's coming off the endangered species list. Why don't you go find those pups, huh? <laughs> it's an exceptional success to be able to take a species off the endangered species list, particularly the fox. It's the fastest mammal recovery in the history of the Endangered Species Act. That incredible achievement wasn't easy or cheap. You see, in order for the island fox to survive, scientists had to spend millions restructuring an ecosystem in chaos. Santa Cruz Island is a very special place. It's the most biodiverse island in the California islands. It has a great history of human use, as well as a number of really special species that have persisted on this island for thousands of years. Humans have used the island for ranching, military operations, and recreation bringing new species into a fragile ecosystem. The biggest threat for the foxes? Feral pigs that were tearing the island apart. These were pigs that had been brought over by ranchers around 1850 or so. And they attracted golden eagles, which were a non-native predator. And this golden eagle population grew to the point that it was uh, taking not just pigs, but also consuming baby foxes. Unable to cope with the golden eagles, the population crashed to fewer than 100 foxes. It was pretty clear what we had to do to try to save the island fox. Get rid of the feral pigs. All of them. That task fell on a New Zealand-based crew of hunters, which killed over 5,000 swine. Conservationists captured the golden eagles and sent them back to the mainland. The remaining foxes went into a captive breeding program. Amazingly, it worked. The fox population soared. A decade later, from that last golden eagle capture, we're seeing over 2,000 foxes on Santa Cruz Island. But it's a tenuous recovery. The fox may be back, but it's still extremely vulnerable. We are obligated to keep a pulse on the population for at least five years after the foxes are delisted. This means that we'll continue to figure out how many foxes are out in the wild. We'll also keep track on their survival rate and we'll also make sure that we're vaccinating these foxes because currently the biggest threat to this population is introduced diseases from the mainland. And that's how you save a tiny fox in the age of mass extinction. Hey, little girl. Yeah, do you want to get going?